Hello everyone, welcome. You saw the title, you can tell today we are talking about houses and homes in Elona and Elona Plus. Um, in game it's called Your Home, right? But um, it seems a little more appropriate to call it a house sometimes, so I'll call it a house or home. So here we are in Cave, right? This is your first uh, place. This is actually where you spawn in in the game. You'll have two folks here to walk you through the tutorial. Um, it's pretty crappy, you know, by design it's supposed to be. So you, can, so it gives you a, a, a you know, a reason to uh, to upgrade. Um, there's only a few things worth mentioning in here. Uh, number one, uh, well, first off, I should uh, preface by saying I, there are a few objects like these little stacks of things down here, this furniture, and maybe a couple other things in the house that aren't, you know, default. I'm, 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 this is a playthrough, so. Um, a very early on playthrough, so I, I have used the house a little. Okay, um, so a few things worth mentioning in the house. Here you have a freezer. So the way a freezer works, uh, you can put any type of food or um, edible, you know, object in there, and it will never rot. Okay, so you can put a corpse or a, uh, you know, a piece of fruit or a cooked meal, anything you put in there, it will never rot. So if you happen to have a surplus. Go ahead and stock that up and do that early on in the game in case you get stuck here for ether wind or something. You may be stuck here for two or three days. So uh, go ahead and stock that up, right? Um, we have a loot chest, uh, I'm sorry, an air trunk here. Uh, th this is for, for like your second, oh, she's eating my ration. Um, this is for um, if you have a playthrough and you you know were quite successful, and then you want to uh, retire that character and start a new character. Uh, you can use the air trunk and a deed. Um, there's a deed you can buy uh, that will allow you to take things from your previous uh, from your air, right? Um, let's see. Most of it's trash, obviously. Uh, here's a signboard. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, a house board. Uh, you can activate this to, you can redesign your house. Um, we'll get into that a little bit later. Uh, so there's a, something called a home rank. So when you drop items in your house, let me grab this furniture, what is this, a table, uh, dining table. So I'm going to pick this up, and you can see in my little log down here, it says furniture value 5, heirloom value 10, and then uh, home rank went from 91st to 91st, so the home rank didn't change. Um, but the fact that this message popped up, period, right, let me go ahead and drop it again, and uh, where are you, here? I, I, I got the same message again, but I can pop, pick up some piece of trash, right? Bloop, and I didn't get any message, right? That's because <clears throat> as far as your house rank goes, it only counts on the 10 most valuable items in your, oops, wrong one. It only, uh, the 10 most valuable items. So if I look at my home rank, I can see, um, <laughs> the best thing I have in my house is a deed of museum. That's for another video. Uh, then that clothwork thing that I picked up. Uh, so yeah, you can see all of these. And some of these are just absolute trash. Like th these top three here are totally trash. Like it's just the tr literally the trash that spawns in because it's a crappy cave. Uh, I just, I have done nothing to set up my house. Right. So the, the, let's talk about house rank for a minute. Um, so you have... A, a cost to buy uh, your house, right? The cave comes for free. You know, that's, you're just kind of camping in it. So you get a free cave. But everything else has a cost. You have to buy the deed, okay? And um, along with that cost comes a tax. And uh, the tax is based um, only on the on the cost of the deed. But it's, it's a flat tax, okay? Um, so then you have your, uh, I'm going to pull up the wiki, a picture of the wiki, so you can uh, see the chart and have a good idea of what I'm talking about. So there's a, uh, I'm going to read through just the, probably Shack, okay, because it has all the stats. So if you look the first one, there's, um, it's called Shack, right? And it, it costs 29,500 GP to, uh, to purchase, right, to buy the deed. Uh, and then you tax 170 GP a month. Okay, so just, I mean, it's pocket change, right? You can go sell some tr some garbage and make that easily in a month. Uh, then you have your rank uh, and then the max rank. So you saw in my cave, I am rank 91, right? So it, it would appear according to this that I started at rank 96. And uh, or the, the cave starts at 96. I suppose I could remove items and make it 100 probably or 99. Um, the lowest I can get the rank is down to 30, right? Because at the end of the day, you're in a cave, 
Okay. So, uh, so and, and the others can, of course, if you get some of the higher tier um, houses, then you can get it up to rank one. Okay. So you also get a salary. So uh, if you played the game, you'll notice the, there uh, every month you get a little a chunk of change. Um, this comes from your house, and also your um, your the house's rank, right? So if you look at the cave, you can see uh, uh, the salary ranges from 120 to 2100. So at the beginning of the game, when you're um, rank 96, you'll be getting 120, and when you're rank, if you make it to rank 30 in your cave. Which you shouldn't. You should have upgraded long before that. But you could be getting twenty one hundred, right? Um, after tax, you know. So this is basically your salary minus tax will be something uh, like you know here. And uh, then uh, items. So you can only have a certain amount of items in your house. In your house. So um, uh, you start off with one hundred, and it, you know that you have a lot of junk in your house too. We'll talk about that in a minute. But anything you drop in your house, including things that were already there, like the fridge and salary chest, those all count as items. Uh, next, we have servants. Uh, we'll talk about servants in detail. Uh, and then the area. So you can see the cave is pretty big. It's almost the biggest one in the uh, uh, in the list here, right? I think only the small castle and palace are bigger. All right. Uh, one other thing I want to mention about um, your house rank is that you cannot stack items. Okay, you can't. Um, so if you have, uh, you can stack any items that you want as long as you don't care about them counting towards your house rank. So if I were to take uh, this, uh, what is this, uh, animal bone, and then drop it onto this clockwork thing, where's my animal bone? Uh, you can see my rank changed, just the same as if I were to have picked up my uh, table there. What could standing on it? Right, so uh, feel free to stack things. Like down here, I stack up cards. I haven't opened the museum yet, so I'm stacking up cards. I have some deeds here for other tutorial videos and uh, some lock picks and chests. So feel free to stack whatever you want, as long as you don't care that they count towards your um, your house rank. So if I spread these out a little bit, you can see that uh, that my house rank is going up. So another good thing to drop, other besides furniture, is uh, ores right so um i'm not sure if i have any on me i do not um so things like uh those raw ore of mika that you know you always see earth stones sunstones um what are this diamond raw diamonds uh and a few others right so any of those uh, a rubiness or of rubiness and uh so if you grab any of those and drop them those are great to drop in your house so especially early game they're super easy to get you get them from as quest rewards quite often so just you know grab a handful of those drop them somewhere non-stacked right so um yeah that's your house rank um also here in our house board you can see um, allies in your home so i have a pet with me um her name is kayed the little girl and uh, oh so i can you can see down here there's uh 49 items and 11 furniture in your home Max 100. Zero members are staying at your home, right? So we're both in here, but we're not staying. If I want to, I can go recruit um, a servant, right? Um, so these servants, there's a handful of different types of servant you can get. And um, similar to shops, kind of, you know, you got to get lucky on what you have here. So let's first just take a look at this NPC list. You can see they have a name, right? And the name also has what they're, what they do, like their, um, their class, I guess. Um, they has a little bit of info and then the initial cost and their wages right so that should be pretty self-explanatory you gotta pay a thousand to get the guard and every month pay another 50 right let's talk about the servants in your home um we have i'll pull up a um uh, for the wiki i'll pull up the thing here but it doesn't really fit on one page so we'll see if I can make it work. Uh, so first one is the guard. Uh, we'll talk about one of them first and then just blow through the rest of them. So the guard uh, is uh, level 40, 1,000 GP, 50 wage. That's the first one we saw there. Um, you can see here what they do. They attack any hostile monsters in your home, such as those created by reading difficult spell books. They will also attack you if you are a criminal. They can send guests away. That last part is pretty important. Um, so... If you, in case you didn't know, if you try to read books and your literacy is not high enough, then you can have bad things happen, right? Um, anything from taking all your mana away to spawning horrible monsters, and they can be really bad. That could be like in-game monsters. Probably won't be, but they can be. So uh, if you have a guard, he'll go fight them. 
All right, um, and the, the last part here, they can uh, send guests away. That's good. If you want to get people out of your house, you need this guard. All right, so uh, I'm not going to read these line by line, but I'll quickly uh, just walk through these, the, what they do, you know, their notes. So the informer can tell you about adventurers and investigate allies. All these people can be found in town except the maid. Uh, so bartender, you can call back your allies. That's really great to have in the home. Um, in fact, for your uh, starter home, I would definitely get an, uh, a bartender, right? And a maid, so you can get people out. Okay, um, so the maid allows you to meet house guests. It can give your home a new name and makes references to the sexy maid stereotype. Yeah, this is Elona, okay? So this, if that's the weirdest thing you see today, then <laughs> you're doing pretty good. Um, so the maid, yeah, so this part here allows you to meet house guests. You can talk to her and uh, ask her to, uh, like, make a, I don't remember the wording, but basically, like, have a party or something. And then, like, it takes about two or three days, and then you will have some, some folks at your house. Okay, um, there's a healer, uh, restores your attributes. Wizard identifies items, right, just like in town. Uh, shop armory, they sell armor and weapons. Shop goods store, sells everything but mostly practical items. Shop magic store, sells potions, scrolls, and books. Shop black market, sells a few enchanted items and weapons. And the general store is, sells a bit of everything, mostly utility items. So general store and goods store are pretty similar. If you want to know the difference of these two, uh, just go to a, a town like Palmia that has both. Uh, the um, So... Yeah, so they get expensive, right? Up to like a thousand a month. I think we're going to start looking at um, uh, people who can just show up at your house. And these are called house guests, right? So uh, so this is what we use with our maid, right? So if you use your maid to uh, to get people to come to your house, uh, let's go ahead and uh, do that. Let's see how if it says how long it takes. So let's get a maid. There she is. I'll take it. And uh, let's find the maid. Should should be maybe it takes her some time to get here. Oh, there she is. Uh, so I just bumped into her and I pulled up a dialogue. So welcome home, Leia. That's my or Leah. I don't know. It's kind of a random name. You have two guests waiting for you. Do you want to meet a guest? And uh, so yes, you can. I don't want to. Let's talk. Think of a nice name. Oh, you can rename your house with your maid, right? In fact, I don't think I have a name. Uh, so she just. Just like when you name your character or the random names on items, they're kind of silly. Sometimes you can find a good one. So we have Girl Past. Uh, we're going to try a couple. I think I need to push the D key. I'll just keep pushing D. Loser Blue Nest. Uh, toy Trainer Nest. See if we can find a good one. Uh, Painless Immortality Cabin. Silver Revival. Destructive Immortality Home. Okay, that'll work. Um, okay, I can. Uh, for in a lot of plus, you have this option on all of the NPCs. Exchange for my place, you just swap. You know, so you don't get stuck. Uh, I can fire her, you know, get rid of her, or just end the conversation. I can meet the guest. Uh, who is that? Trick or treat. Uh, this is some random thing. Let's see. Let's go treat. Guard, guard, guard. Oh, oh that's creepy. Okay, I'm not going to explain that. <laughs> uh, can I? Okay, and that's all the interaction. So uh, sometimes there's some random events and stuff. It's usually, I think it's all good stuff. So one other major thing in the house is our uh, salary chest. Right? Don't get rid of this. You need it. Uh, you can open this. This is where you get your salary. And when you get your salary, you also uh, can get random items and bills. Oh boy, I need to pay my bills. Uh, so, uh, yeah, just make sure you have this in your house. Uh, pro tip, when you uh, get to higher levels, you can go to the tax office and buy all kinds of furnishings for your home, including this salary chest if something happens to it. But, uh, if you, you can also buy uh, the, I forgot what it's called, but the, the tax box, I think it's what it's called. And just stick it right next to this. Then you can pay your taxes immediately. You don't need to think about it. All right, I think this covers it um, for the home. There is one thing you can do in any of these homes, and that is design. Um, I don't usually do this because, at least not in this home, because it feels cheaty. But, okay, so I have this thing. So I can right click on any tile, like this dirt tile. Um, right now it kind of copied it you can see in, in the top right it's like it's selected and now I can place that anywhere right so I can erase walls I can make this place huge right I can make a huge open cave or I can make it like not even a cave right I can push enter key on my uh, numpad and I pull up all of these 
I can make it a bright, lovely, grassy knoll or something, right? But the reason I don't like doing that is because it, it, it you know, you lose encouragement to ever upgrade your house because you already have the biggest, you know, the biggest tile map anyway. You can go, you know, it's really big. Uh, it's like, why would you? You could just make it look nice. Uh, at the very most, maybe I would do something like this. I will grab some grass and maybe make like an entrance so it doesn't feel so like dark and lonely or something. Maybe something like that. And then, uh, you know, make it wall it off a little bit. That way you kind of have a, the feeling that you're in a cave. Anyway, it's all up to you. You can make it look crazy nice. Also worth noting, you can place walls over stuff right and it looks like crap so make sure you clean up your house before you do that unless for some reason you're going for that look uh, okay i think that's all we have to say about um our cave so we'll see our next one is a shack okay so first off ignore my uh, little horse and carriage thing this is an alona plus thing that we're not uh, talking about in this video um so i have a deed i'm gonna push r to read it i have a deed of shack and like any deed, these can be purchased at uh, the uh, goods store in, in like towns like Palmia, the ones that sell furniture and things, or in the tax office, uh, the person in the top left of the tax office. So I'm going to go find a spot. Um, so the first thing we need to talk about is location. Um, you can see here I have a shop and a farm on my uh, in this little spot here. And I, and I choose this spot, as I mentioned in the other videos, because it's between Vernus and Palmia, it's just off screen. And uh, it's a long stretch here, and you're often on this road, and uh, and you you know you can get caught by ether wind or heavy rain or something. It's just nice to have like a uh, a sort of uh, you know like an oasis between this long stretch here. Uh, so a lot of people would put them closer to a big city that they frequent, so maybe Palmia, and uh, that way they're you know stopping by. But it's nice to be at my home and, and have a, um, you know, a place out of the elements. So I'm going to push R to read. And uh, next one up from the house is our deed of shack. I'm going to confirm. I want it right here. And um, I have my mate. So your folks in Alona Plus, your people will come with you to the next, uh, you know, the next, uh, if, when you buy a new house, they, they come with you. Uh, in, a, in base game Alona, they do not. There is something special that happens when we get to the uh, the uh, the small castle, and so we'll talk about that when we get to it. But for now, your people in Alona Plus do come, and the people in Alona do not. Um, and also, when you enter your house, your maid will will talk to you. Now, everything in my old house, uh, no, get away. Everything in my old house um, will, is here in a big pile, right? Uh, so this may be a bit of a downgrade, right? Going from a, that huge cave I had that I could make look identical to this and just have more space to this. But um, we do have 50 more spots, right? Uh, 50 more uh, item uh, split places, right? So I can uh, have carry a lot more things and I can have one more servant. And of course I can decorate it. So uh, I can see here this is everything in my old house, including uh, all the junk that was there, right? So, yep, you can um, spread these out however you see fit, and that's pretty much all you can really all I can really say about uh, this. That's it. Up next, we have the cozy house. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, oh, you can see the the sprite for the uh, house has changed, right? It's right there. Um, so let's see what our cozy house looks like. We'll stick them over here. Let's go ahead and read that. Boom. Yes. And I have a new house. Okay, uh, we're not going to deal with guests right now, but here we are. It's empty, except for the pile of stuff I have. Also, um, like, there's no, uh, you know, discriminants against inside and outside here. So I can place things outside, you know. So if I have, like, that flag you know, that always drops in dungeons, you can put that outside. Um, and it will contribute to your house rank. Um, yeah, this is it. There's not much to see. Um, let's take a look at the house, what it looks like. Oh, same sprite as that. Uh, also, worth noting, my cave is gone, right? And my cozy house. So when you upgrade, you lose your old place, but you carry all your old your old things over with you. Um, so let's see here. Oh, yeah, they're outside. She's standing on. Here's all my old junk. 
Um, so this one is another uh, plus 50 D items, right? So this one can carry 200 and, uh, you know, four servants. So a plus one servant. And it's quite a bit bigger than the, um, well, just a little bit bigger, I guess. Uh, up next, we have an estate. So, um, again, the estate is going to give plus one to my servants, and this time it's plus 100 to items. So, cozy house was 200, and estate is 300. Um, so let's go ahead and plop this thing down. Um, I guess, uh, let's not put it on the road. Kind of immersion breaking. Get out of there. Okay, so let's read it. And deed of estate. And yes. All right, and we're here. My maid, of course, because it's Alona Plus, the maid and, uh, well, only the maid came along with me. So now we're starting to get into, you know, houses, right? So you can see that we got we have four rooms. It's getting a little bit more reasonable. So this is when we can start doing a little bit of customization. Uh, first off, there's a couple more things I wanted to show. Um, <laughs> you can buy stairs. Here's a downstairs and actually use them. And it looks identical. To, uh, to the other one. So it's, again, it's immersion breaking, but if I were to actually be using this, I would use, uh, I would have, uh, you know, maybe keep the same shape, but then make everything else like cave wall or something so that you feel like you're in the basement. Uh, another thing is you need to make sure you bring a uh, an upstairs with you or, um, or take the, uh, what, what is it? The uh, ret uh, return scroll, the home, the ret so you can read it and return home, which will be upstairs. Uh, you notice there's nothing here except a rope. <laughs> so the only thing I can do is push T to use the rope and hang myself, right? And now I'm I'm back to my home, right? So these can be dangerous if you don't have an upstairs to go along with it, and they can't just be picked up. I can just bloop and it's gone. Uh, also, I nabbed a few of these rare stones. Not even rare, a mana crystal. And now you can see my home rank is 76. So that's like the default, right? Uh, started off as 76 because it's a, such a nice house. Uh, so let's drop some of these. This would have been a bigger effect had I done it in the in the cave. But you can see I already went down one rank to 75th. Uh, Mika still 75th. And oh, that's all the ones I grabbed. But you can tell if you had a cave, right, that would knock you down a few uh, and then you'd have higher salary, better items and stuff. Okay, so um, this is it. But there's a few uh, things you can do here. Let me grab my signboard. It's in my pile of junk here. I don't... Oh, yeah, it is. My house board. I always call it a signboard. Um, put it somewhere, you know, not totally immersion breaking. Right? Okay, now I'm going to use this and do my design. And I can... If I push my numpad enter... We actually have signs, so I could choose these signs here. Like maybe I could do like a potion shop, and maybe put that. Mm, that doesn't look good, does it? Yeah, but uh, you know, you could do something like me. Uh, I might have to change the entire house, right? But you can make it work uh, however you you wanted to. And um, and now whenever I uh, go back to my signboard, I can wait. My maid. And I want to, oh wait, it was signboard. I'm trying to get a, a vendor so I can recruit a servant. Um, let's do the, well, we'll do magic store, even though I have a little potion there, it'll work. Okay, and then I can move a stair. And where is my, st oh, so let's find our magic uh, vendor. Where are you at? Did I already lose you? It, does it take it may take time for them to uh, to actually come? Although the maid came right away. Strange. Um, well, uh, when they come, they just kind of roam. So I can go back to my house board and do uh, allies in my home. Uh, we don't have any. Uh, but what was it? Move a stayer. Yeah. So I only have the maid, and I believe this is the the fella following me. Well, when they come, you can move them to their rooms. You kind of give them like a, an anchor point where they kind of hang out in that area. Uh, because as their houses get bigger and you get more servants, they, uh, you know, you, you want to be able to find them uh, efficiently. So, 
Yeah, there's that. Um, let's go ahead and hire a couple more. Um, recruit a servant. Let's get a... Uh, what's the one that does... Oh, I don't have one. Because I keep losing my, my pet, so I was hoping that they had the, the guy that brings them back. Let's do the good store vendor. Oh, okay, I wasn't paying attention. Excuse me, I don't have enough money. That's why I didn't hire them. Okay, um, I'm in wizard mode just for these uh, videos so I can get them done without uh, messing up my, my long plays. Um, so I'm going to wish for some money. I'm not going to explain wizard mode because it'll ruin your game. <laughs> Uh, let's do try that again then. So let's um, go to my ally, uh, my recruit, a servant, and let's grab magic store. Oh my god! If you're reading the uh, the flavor text here, it says the maid looks good enough to touch. Okay, so she's here. So I'm gonna push this, and I can choose like an anchor point. So if I wanted the magic vendor in here, I would just choose that. And I don't know if she warps over or yeah. yeah there, oh, he. Excuse me misgendered him there. Uh, but now he'll kind of hang out in that area, you know, just like in towns. He may roam out a little bit, but he'll, you know, come back to that area. And I can buy stuff. I can invest, you know, all that good stuff. Yeah, so that's our house. That's This is the... Uh, oh, there's one more thing I can show us now. Let's take a look at our map icon. Uh, so this looks just like the last two, right? My home sweet home. Bye-bye. Uh, I can change the... Uh, a couple things here. So since this one has doors, right? Now there's actually, we actually have doors. Uh, let me close one so we can get the full effect. How, how do you close a door? Okay. It's the first time I've ever closed a door. Uh, it's Shift C in case you're wondering. Um, so we can go here and change door type. Yeah, these definitely are not changing. Maybe I, do I need to open it and close it? Ah, oh, there we go. So I opened it. Now that, now it looks different. Uh, uh, he's opening the door. Okay. So that was it. I think I had to uh, change the... Yeah, okay. So I had to open it or close it to kind of refresh it. Okay, so you can change the type of door depending on what kind of build you're going for, right? So uh, that's something to keep in mind, although I don't like these doors. And one more thing, you can change the map icon. Now, uh, it says I need to enter a number from 1 to 33. So there's like 33 different options. And uh, I'm going to just type in a couple. I'll type 25. Um, let's see, 25. And let's see what happened. Great. Looks fantastic, <laughs> right? So this is a little finicky. I, you know, it's hard to find one that actually fits. So let me just type in one more map icon. And uh, let's do maybe 27, I don't know. Okay, I think this is an Alona Plus thing because every one I've changed has looked something like that. So I think Alona Plus changed the way that this part works, but it's worth a try. Uh, and you can always uh, push zero and it will, uh, oops. Uh, I have num. I use numpad right for movement, the same as you should. But um, I have to push zero on my top of my keyboard, not my numpad. There we go. So now it goes back to the original, right? Okay. All right. Next up is cyber house. So let's put our cyber house here. And now we have 350 uh, item limit. It went up 50 again, and we have uh, six servants. So plus one servant and plus 50 items. So again, there's not much to see. This is a different kind of door, right? I don't like it. It doesn't, to me, the whole cyber, there's a, a tiny little cyber theme in this game. If you, some of the dungeons and the cyber dome. And to me, it's like off-putting. It just doesn't fit. Uh, but you can hear the door. Let me, I'll be quiet. It has like a bzzz sound. Right. But anyway, this is an option if you like this kind of stuff. Um, and again, you can change the rooms around. You can, uh, you know, change everything if you want. Uh, but yeah, there's nothing uh, really more to talk about here. Let's take a look at the map icon. See what we get. Yeah, it looks like the Cyberdome, which is uh, here, I guess. <laughs> oh, it's a little different, a different shade, right? Okay, um, up next, we will have a small castle. Uh, this thing was expensive. I could only find a blessed one, <clears throat> but it's uh, more than 1.6 million. And uh, let's have a look at what this guy looks like. So I'm going to see if I can read it on the road because I'm actually not sure. I think I can. Small castle. Yes, I built a new house. All right, now these start getting big and a little bit cumbersome to get around. All right, um, but let's have a quick look. The entrance is really down there, but... Oh, I even have like a throne room. Oh, nice. Put a big chair out here. Some torches. Okay, yeah, this is cool. Very cool design, right? 
Uh, all my items dropped right here in the middle. Uh, this is the first one that you can actually have walkable water. So, um, uh, whenever you go to your house board, did I call it the right thing this time? House board I did. Um, so let's drop this right here. Uh, if we go to, to design, uh, you can't actually place these until you get the small castle because then I can right click to copy it and now I can place these wherever I want, right? I can put water, walkable water wherever I want, which means I can get wet uh, and in Alona Plus that's important for drinking. So uh, yeah, that's just one thing mi worth mentioning here. Uh, and also, since we're in the small castle, then um, we have 400 items, which is another plus 50, and plus one servant. And uh, yeah, now we actually have the first one that's like bigger than the map. You have to scroll around a little bit. Um, and I think that, let me, oh, I'm in the wrong mode here. Yeah, I want to see my house board and move a stair. No. Okay, so this is Small Castle. Uh, for for base Elona game, this is the biggest uh, the biggest one you can get. Uh, for Elona Plus, we have one level bigger, and it is Palace. Oh, by the way, I didn't mention the map. Uh, you can see the map icon looks pretty awesome, uh, much better than the the house one. And now I have a palace. So let's look at the map icon first. Oh, this place is awesome. Uh, yeah, wow, it looks like Palmia. Is it identical to Palmia? Let's take a look. It is! Those cheeky... Oh, it's a different color. Different shade. They really should have done something a little different there. For the... Uh, okay, anyway. So we have a little hedge maze, right? Uh, let's make our way in. More walkable water down there. And... Oh, the doorways look nice. They have a little, like, carpet thing. Uh, this is nice because you can really sort all of your vendors really easily, keep them on the sides. And then you have a kind of uh, interior room here. Now on the uh, wiki, it said that um, when you get the small castle, it'll automatically give you six servants to fill it. But I didn't, so maybe Alona Plus disables that, which would make sense. I'd rather customize it myself, you know, choose what, choose what I do and do not want. But, whoa, I'm starving. And I have, huh, I got food. Okay, um, so this is it. This is our palace. Um, and we already saw the map icon. There's not much else I have to talk about houses. Um, let me drop something and see what our rank is. I can check the house board as well, but I'm curious. I'm gonna drop a, something like this. Uh, we are, yep, so we started at rank 50, right? And I, I mean, if I spread, uh, you know, these are expensive. We're getting into the millions, uh, multiple millions. So um, if you uh, do it naturally, I'm using wizard mode just for this video. Uh, but if you were to, uh, you know, naturally up your house, up to a palace or a small castle, you would have loads of items that would be, you know, higher than the rank items I have. So uh, whenever you spread out your items again, then you would obviously be more than rank 49 you'd probably be up to like 20 or so or maybe even rank one um another thing worth mentioning is uh in your small cave you really should clean out all the crap because it sucks to be carrying this around every time every time you go to another area i'm, I'm carrying all this junk around so just keep the top 10 items plus the gear and stuff you're trying to save and then ditch everything else right um yeah so this is it guys uh, this is the biggest house, the palace, which I'll say it again, this is, the palace is not in base game Ilona. This, this one here sometimes has deeds. Oh yeah, you gotta load here. So yeah, they have deeds here, you know, for, um, for everything. Oh, there's one more thing I need to mention as well. And also this shop here, this type of shop. So any of these general, uh, sellers, right? So palaces, two million, um... And, yeah, museum. Yeah, so these two have them. And, of course, the tax office, right? If you go up here, and there's two ladies in here that sell them. The others sell furniture and, you know, um, store things that, useful things in the house in case you lose them. And uh, here, so these ladies sell all of these. Um, and you might have saw some items, some Alona Plus items in there. There's one other thing I wanted to say. You can move your house. Um... First off, let me make sure I have some things spread out here. 
yeah, okay, I have my, my dining thing kind of spread out. Just, to, I want to see if it keeps the items. It should keep the items. Okay, so um, I used my removal deed on the house. And it, then I said yes, and then I walked over here. I used the, I read it again, and then it dropped it here. So it worked a little different here. So, um, oh, and it maintained where my stuff was, right? My pile, and I moved that one object. Okay, great. So now you can move your um, move your things. All right, guys, I think this is going to do it for houses. Um, you can see, uh, you know, you can get pretty crazy with your houses. And it's also, uh, you can uh, tell that the, the, the price gets pretty insane. So this is, the palace is a pretty in-game thing, right? It costs... Uh, let me, I think it was 2 million to, to get that guy. And uh, yeah, over 2 million. So a little over 2, two million to get it. But you can, you know, uh, if you get the rank high enough, you can actually earn money on top of that. So thanks for watching, guys. I have other guides out for the farm uh, shop. This is the house guide, and I will be making one tomorrow, I think, for the ranch guide. So, and then another for pet guide and uh, gene manipulation, all these things. So stay tuned, and I'm glad you watched till the end, and I hope you continue to watch. So thanks for watching.